So my name is Kristen Love and this is my literature review comparing Rainbow Rowell's novel Carry On to J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. Rainbow Rowell's novel Carry On published in October of 2015 has in many ways been compared to J.K. Rowling's works of the Wizarding World and it is extremely easy to see why. There are many similarities between the two stories. For, for one, characters and their personalities, another one is settings, and even certain events that take place in both of the stories. Carry On centers on Simon Snow, a magician in his final year of schooling at the magical school Watford, and his group of friends as they try to finally put an end to the biggest threat to the magical world, the insidious humdrum. Along with trying to stop the humdrum from stealing all the magic, Simon and his friends are investigating Baz's mother's death, the previous headmistress of Watford who died under mysterious circumstances. This story, of course, contains the basic trio. Simon, the orphan hero that is the last hope of saving the magical world, Penny, the brainy best friend that comes up with all of the plans, and Baz, the other best friend and later love interest. The setting of a magical boarding school is the same, although at Watford the students can attend for eight years, though their eighth year is optional. And within this story, we don't see much of the actual teaching and the classes. It's more centered around Simon and what his friends are up to. Every student has a particular object that they use to control their power. Some use wands, some have family heirlooms such as a ring or a necklace that help them control and use their powers. The magic system within this book has a very interesting take compared to magic in other magical worlds. The spells are taken from everyday phrases and song lyrics, such as there is nothing to see here which makes something disappear, back to start is a healing spell, and Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you, which helps you search for something. The spells within this world are only as powerful, as popular as they are in the non-magical world. Once people stop using certain phrases, they no longer become spells or as powerful as they used to be. Carry On takes a very refreshing view on the chosen one stereotype. Simon, instead of being amazing at everything like we see in a lot of young adult novels these days, is instead completely not in control of his magic. Even after his seven years of previous schooling, the buildup of the story is one that leaves the reader on the edge of their seat wondering what will come next. The villain, the insidious humdrum, is talked about but never truly seen until over halfway through the story, keeping the reader guessing as to who or what the humdrum really is. As the investigation unfolds as to how to end the humdrum and what happened to Baz's mother, the readers watch as Baz and Simon turn from roommates that are sworn enemies to best friends. The buildup of Simon and Baz as they move from enemies to friends and even to something more is done beautifully. The reader grows along with the characters as they realize their true feelings. Majority of the dialogue of the story is witty. I found myself laughing out loud during certain scenes, particularly ones that involved Penny. As great as the story is, there is one slight problem. It feels like the end. There are many references to past adventures that are not fleshed out enough in the story. Being able to experience these adventures would help the reader understand more about the fight against the humdrum. This story is essentially a concluding novel to a series without the rest of the books actually existing, leaving so many unanswered questions as to how the story began. This story is a fun and magical journey, ensured to keep readers entertained. However, its downfall comes from feeling like an ending novel. The reader is just thrown into the adventure without much pretext as to what happened in the previous years to our main characters.